真真得无啊！哥。Hey guys, what is up? It is Rise 96 back with another figure review. And I guess you could say I'm back from the dead. Haven't been posting much, but G Fest is right around the corner, and so I'll be more active. And so today I got a figure review of a, uh, a pretty, pretty hard uh, figure to come by. And if you find him, then it's uh, won't be easy to get since it's pretty expensive. But today, I have the Hyper Hobby GMK Godzilla. Alright, so this guy is the GMK uh, Godzilla, and obviously he is the a, uh, the exclusive version, as you can tell. And this guy has to be one of the, one of the crown jewels of my entire collection I have. Um, so first, um, most of you guys know the uh, history of GMK Godzilla and all that good stuff, so let's just get right to the figure. So this figure is um, a mold off of the other GMK Godzilla, the uh, standard 8-inch version. And what this guy is, essentially, is it's the original figure, but what they did was they um, molded over him and they added all these features onto the outside. So, as you can see, Right, you can see the inside, his tail, and you can see this little white part, and that's uh, the mold that they put over the original figure, and so that allowed them to put all the, uh, you know, glitter and yellow spines on and all that good stuff. So that's what this figure is, and um, let's get to what they changed about it. The original figure. Had. Oh, well, I actually have him right here. The original had, you know, grayish black spines. You know, the usual. But this one, they changed it so it's a yellow, yellow and black. And, uh, they also made them a shiny, shiny black instead of just a kind of, uh, you know, normal looking, uh, grayish black color. And they also did, they put in the, uh, the sparkles, and so, um, yeah, it's the, it's essentially the same thing as the, his 8 inch, uh, counterpart, and, let's see his tag, his tag is right here, it says, uh, Hyper Hobby, 2002 release, uh, GMK DVD, and that's, I'm assuming when it was released, the date, uh, go Godzilla 2002, and that's essentially what the tag looks like, still have it attached, and yeah, also with the figure, you can see that they put a uh, silver silver uh, toenails and fingernails you see compared to the original one which is just a white 8 inch Kiryu or 9 inch it's a little shorter and this is him sized up with Baragon GMK Baragon and that's that's about uh what you want to see, because it's pretty well sized, since Baragon was quite shorter than uh, Godzilla in the film, so that works pretty good. So this guy is um, an exclusive, he is semi hard to find, you can find him pretty easily, but 
he goes for a lot of a lot of money. This guy usually goes from the range of 90 to I've seen him go up to 200. And so this is my review on the GMK Hyper Hobby Exclusive Godzilla. Hope you guys enjoyed and um, rate, comment, all the good stuff. One announcement. Um, I'm on Facebook and I'm in a really uh, family friendly Godzilla group. It's called Toho Kaiju Union. And this is the best Godzilla group you can find. Kaiju. Anything of anything, Ultraman, Gamera. It's not just all Godzilla. Every week we have a different theme of something Godzilla related or Kaiju related. And um, yeah, so you guys should definitely go check it out on Facebook. I'll put a little link down here. And so uh, yeah, if you guys want to go check that out, that would be awesome. Come join me and a lot of other cool people on there. And so this has been Ryan Six signing out.